when you have a work folder like this in your Google Drive with multiple files and each of these files is shared with many people so they modify the file constantly and you need to create backups backups is a copy of each file which is made on a regular basis so you could easily go and compare the original file with its backup on some date or time. The great feature of Google Docs, Sheets and other Google files is they have a zero file size. So one may create as many copies as he or she needs and they will take no effect on Google Drive storage. In this video I will show you my file with a script called Backup Creator. It has the sheet with settings and each line of these settings is one task. One task is one selected folder and it creates backups in some other folder and also creates subfolders of months, dates, weeks and so on of your choice and then it creates your backups inside subfolders and it also creates custom name of your saved file of your prefix and your postfix in my case postfix says when the time when the backup was created which is very very convenient when you want to compare your saved backups with original files I'm logged uh, with my second email to show you how to create trigger and how to make all settings from the very beginning. I go to Tools Script Editor. I have on minute function here. This is my function which I want to run each minute. I want to do it with a trigger. Create new trigger. Here is the icon. I will click it. Icon with watch. And I have a button here in the right button corner, add trigger, you don't see it on screen, I'll click it. Choose which function to run. And I have, the, I made it this first function in my script, one minute, so I don't need to choose it. From spreadsheet, select event source, it must be time driven. Okay, next, select minutes timer every minute and I also want to notify me immediately so if some error occurs I'll know it from my email list hit save and uh, choose an account create backupper I need it's uh, you need to verify this app click advanced click go to backup creator and save and you need to give this scripts some permissions and click allow now you are finally done but if you leave it as it is your script will throw errors and you see errors in your messages in gmail that's because uh, you need to change these folders to your so you uh, someone or you or anyone who creates this trigger must have access to write files into these folders so just clear it and create your own settings folder id from is this is folder which you want to create backups from Next, folder ID2, it's the root folder with backups. Next, folder period formats. Uh, I made these formats for my first backup. Year, 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 it's, it means give me full year, 2019. Next, year, year, uh, months, months. I want 2019, then months in format 01, 02, and so on. 
and finally year, month and day. And my second backup is format year and next month and all and then all next files will be saved to the month folder. And you see that it's semi there is semicolon between formats. Please do the same in your settings. Next file prefix. It's what becomes before before the name of new file. Suppose you have some file which is named file, and you have prefix and postfix here, and uh, your copy will look like this. Prefix and your file name and postfix. So you see the file, the new file will be created. Copy of the file, next file is file name and saved when it was saved. And the tricky part is to create postfix with saved here. I used text function and now to format uh, the current date, current timestamp as HMS. So I see which hour, minute and, uh, and even second was this file was copied. Here is also last back backup file ID. Just leave this blank. The script will fill this for us and I'll explain it later. Next, uh, the, the same. Create new task ID, maybe any number. Folder ID from and folder ID to. Next, format and the same here, but I also added months and date into my prefix because I want all backup files to be sorted by their name and I see the date in, in the name, in the beginning of the name. That's why I sort all files by name and I want the date become in prefix. I don't want to create a third folder for each day and in my months folder I will have file named 0801 which means the 1st of August in this case. And finally we have last two file IDs, it was last saved IDs and also in this file sheet any, you don't need to change this file, it is for the script. Let's go back to the script and see. This script creates only one backup at a time. Run backup or one when minute equals 29. This means I want each hour when minute equals 29, I want to run this backupper of ID1. Let's go back. Backup creator ID1. I want to run this backup each hour. And next, uh, what we see, uh, if minute equals 10, an hour percentage, percentage means modulo. You may see more here in modulo, about modulo operation in Wikipedia. And modulo 3 means run this trigger, run this part of trigger each 3 hour. So I have only three files in this second folder. Second folder is folder from the task number two and it is here. And I also created hyperlinks here. So if you, you want to see it, please go to this link. And I see three files here. This folder won't be affected, so my, my create backupper creates backups for files only from this folder, not subfolders. And the script will create backup, will create a copy of one file at a time. I've created it, I've designed the script in this way because it takes time to create backup. And if you, if you make more copies than one, you have risk that something goes wrong and your file won't be copied. So I prefer to run my script more often, but copy at, uh, by one file once, only one file. This is because 
this this is why I've created year, month, day, hour, uh, and even minute. And I wanted to create exact settings where when I want to run this backupper. I'll go back to create backupper and delete this trigger. I don't really need it. Yes, delete forever. I've created it only for purposes to show you how it works and uh, hope it's all clear. If you have any questions, please ask it in comments.